Let's take a look here at data integrity versus data corruption. So data integrity is the maintenance insurance of data accuracy and consistency over its entire life cycle. And it's often used as a proxy term for data quality. Now you might think it's data validation, but it's just a prerequisite of data integrity because again, data integrity is all about the entire life cycle, making sure overall that it's gonna stay consistent. So validation is just one part of it. The goal of data integrity is to ensure data is recorded exactly as intended. Data integrity is the opposite of data corruption. So data corruption is the act or state of data not being in the intended state and result in data loss or misinformation. And data corruption occurs when unintended changes result when reading and writing. And so in the case when you're doing reads and writes, maybe you have a hardware failure, uh, somebody just inputs the wrong data, or someone intentionally is being malicious to corrupt your data, or there's unforeseen side effects for operator operations via computer code. So you wrote code and you didn't know that it was doing something that it wasn't supposed to be doing. So how do we ensure data integrity? Well, we have a well-defined and documented data modeling. So data modeling, if you know exactly how your data is supposed to be and it doesn't match the model, there, then you'll know. Logical constraints on your database items. So we talked about that when we uh, talked about uh, all the types of relational data. So constraints will keep that data integrity in place. Redundant and versions of your data to compare and restore. So you have to be able to um, not just validate your data, but be able to bring it back to the state that it's supposed to be. Human analysis of the data. So, you know, that's where data analysis will just check periodically. Uh, hash functions to determine if changes have been tampered with. You see this quite often when you're downloading uh, open source software or software off, off like Soft, Softpedia, where you can have an MD5 hash to say, did the thing I download match the thing that it was expected? Uh, principle of least privileges. So limiting access to specific actions for specific user roles will mitigate uh, uh, problems that are unexpected with your data. So all that stuff uh, makes up data integrity, okay?